Now starting, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Greetings from uh, rainy Boston. It's Finney Viola with Birch Island Real Estate Consulting. Very excited to chat with you for a few minutes about ABCs of Asset Management for LIHTC Projects. Um, this webcast is live. It, air, it airs Thursday, October 15 from 2 to 3.30 p.m. Eastern. And the insider perspective is mine. Um, I've been in affordable housing for 25 years, and I've spent 10 of those working in the syndicator world as an asset manager, as a team leader, and learning the best practices and just working in the trenches to understand how tax credit projects work from an investor perspective. Um, for this webcast, I'm very excited to announce that Bob Landis, of uh, KHIC, he's a senior vice president of syndications. Bob will be joining us. Bob is formerly of Raymond James. Uh, he'll share some perspectives, some color commentary on tax credit investments. Um, the agenda for our 90-minute webcast is pretty straightforward. We'll talk about very briefly what asset management is, and we'll look at the role of an asset manager. And after that, we're going to dig into the ABCs of asset management, A through Z, looking at the processes, the skill set, the stakeholders, the tools that an asset manager would use, the, the, the key forms. Um, what is and what isn't asset management? Well, we know what it's not. We know what asset managers don't do. We know they're not property managers. We'll spend 90 minutes again talking about the role of an asset manager. Here's just a quick uh, overview of the partnership structure we'll be talking about. In the middle is the tax credit partnership. Um, we have an investor that puts tax credit equity into that partnership and takes out benefits in the form of tax credits, tax losses, uh, distributions, and um, perhaps residual value. Now, the syndicator is where that asset manager that I, that's the world I worked in with the syndicator. Um, that being said, um, any tax credit conference or affordable housing conference you attend these days, you're bound to hear some discussion about developers and uh, general partners looking to set up, looking to enhance their internal asset management function. So, while the developer's perspective is slightly different from the asset manager in a syndicator world, um, the concepts are very similar. So what I talk about in this webcast applies whether you're a syndicator asset manager or on the development side. A through Z, and we start off in A with agreements, and perhaps there's no more important agreement than the limited partnership agreement. We'll talk about several other agreements briefly, those that go along with the partnership agreement perhaps forms uh, that are more important than any others that you'll come across in this world, 8609, 8609A, and 8823. As you know, you can't claim credits without an 8609. We'll take a look at each of these forms briefly. Um, metrics, if you're an asset manager, how do you do your job without a solid set of metrics to measure performance? And that performance varies by life cycle and often you're measuring actual results to underwriting, to budget, uh, to some benchmarks. Uh, we'll take and we'll talk briefly about AHIC, Affordable Housing Investor Council's guidelines for risk rating tax credit projects. Whether your project's in development phase or stabilized phase, AHIC has guidelines, criteria for risk rating projects A through F. We'll talk about those Projects that don't perform well on AHIC, anything C or below is very often a watch list project. Uh, syndicators very often employ their own risk rating criteria, but but uh, AHIC is certainly an important one. Uh, you know, well established uh, set of guidelines adopted by the industry. So here is a, just a quick example. We have a project that scores very well on most criteria, a stabilized project, but due to a poor debt service coverage ratio, ends up with an overall risk rating of a C. Now, is that a big deal? Well, it certainly is something the investor is going to want to know about. So very quickly, this color coding uh, you see here is not part of any 
AHIC guideline you'll find. While all the criteria belong to AHIC, the A through F green and red, those are something I've developed for uh, presentation purposes, so you probably won't find this anywhere else. So that's our webcast, 90 Minutes Asset Management. Bob Landis is joining us. Very excited about that. Hope you can join us. Thanks for tuning in.